Hi, I'm Aicha Bush, a Cloud Advocate at Microsoft. I'm here to share tips and tricks around Microsoft Graph Toolkit. Let's get started. Microsoft Graph Toolkit is a collection of reusable web components and authentication providers that helps you connect with Microsoft Graph. The biggest concern for a lot of developers is adding authentication piece in their apps. Microsoft Graph Toolkit is focusing on simplifying the authentication and getting data from Microsoft 365 with few lines of code. One of the most popular components is the login component that helps you build authentication with two, three lines of code. We also have many other components that help you get calendar events, to-do tasks, and many more. Microsoft Graph Toolkit has several benefits that makes developers' lives easier. It cuts development time, so developers will be able to access Microsoft Graph with few lines of code. Also, developers won't need to worry about styling the data because components come with pre-built UI right out of the box. Microsoft Graph Toolkit works with any web framework such as Angular, React, Vue, and it is compatible with any modern browser. So developers can consume the components in any framework they like and their app will work in each and every browser. Microsoft Graph Toolkit components come with pre-built UI that looks and feels like Microsoft experiences. However, they're fully customizable. If you would like to customize the components and match the component styling with your app, you can use CSS custom properties and templating. There's a great place to discover Microsoft Graph Toolkit components, which is the playground. Let's check the playground and see what is available in the collection of the components. Let's go to mgt.dev, which is the playground. On the left, we have the components. And on the right side, you can edit the component and you can see the changes under the canvas. Let's add an attribute to the agenda component, such as group by day, which will group all the events by their date. And you will see the changes under the canvas right away. If you want to learn more what else is available for the specific component, you can go to docs right next to canvas and learn more about the agenda component, for example. So when I click docs, this will bring me the agenda component docs. I can see the attributes, properties, events, and CSS available for the agenda component. Let's check out the other components, such as the login component. This will bring me the sign-in button and the user profile after the sign-in. Let's check out people. And this will bring me people's profiles and I can still customize it with the attributes. If I change this to three, I will show maximum three people's profile. For the ones who want to start their journey with Microsoft Graph Toolkit today, there's a great learning module named Get Started with Microsoft Graph Toolkit. In this module, developers will discover Microsoft Graph Toolkit less than 30 minutes and they will have hands-on practice with exercises and learn how to consume Microsoft Graph Toolkit components and providers in a real app. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Graph Toolkit, visit akms slash learn mgt and get started with Microsoft Graph Toolkit today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Microsoft 365 developer videos. Bye.